Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Kamusta kayong lahat? Hope everybody is doing fine. So today, <laughs> we're sending a, like a box to yeah. the Philippines. Yeah. Because he thinking it's a playpen. He thinking it's a, it's a, you know, a toy mm -hmm. to be in there. And you need to get outside. Wow. <laughs> and <laughs> we're gonna start it. Yeah, so, so, so this girl is a... Uh, she loves the coupon and every now and then and and every now and then when we get way too much stuff more stuff than we can use or handle then she gets these boxes um that you can use to send stuff back like overseas um like a one price no matter what the weight is yeah right they like ours is cheaper prices so if you they had a promo right now so if you send three boxes it gonna be ninety five dollars a piece or if it is like you said two boxes it gonna be hundred dollar a piece or if you say one box it's gonna be hundred and ten dollars yeah so so this is actually going to be going a long way so the yeah. philippines is like eight thousand miles away from here and it takes but how long does it take to to get there you think this so box should take the first the first book that i said is it takes it like about at least it went there for two months because it got they had the the typhoon it has the typhoon and they got stranded and also because of the the virus that's why they it takes oh, a long time yeah. to get there because they had to stop over to other like places. Mm -hmm. So this is what I just do with it. So I just get this. And then put this uh like uh, shampoo over here and then like hold on. Let me get this on so just put it like that and then wrap it and then grab the bottom part and the top and then i just continue to... we don't know what kind of wrapping paper i guess it's like some kind of wrapping yeah. paper <laughs> so this is come from like i didn't even bought this so uh, this come from our church <laughs> yeah yeah so just cut it and then this you know this is and it's also this is like the plastic wrap will secure the the shampoo from leaking. Hmm. So that's what I do with it, and this is what it look like when uh, you wrap it with it. So that's one. Uh, just one. So it's gonna be <laughs> we got four yeah. boxes and basically wrapping each individual thing like that. Um, and, and like she said, it is all about, doesn't matter what size it is, so you want to kind of pack it. Like she, she packs this stuff as smart as you can. So what this one, I do with it, just, or lay it like this. See how much she can fit. See how much she can fit. Yeah. So the last time that you sent the box... Yeah. How much, like, what was the kind of things you put in that box the last time? I have, like, about 40 pieces of toothpaste, or, uh, like, about four, or, uh, like, about 60 pieces of Victoria's Secret Mist and lotion, mm -hmm. and makeups. So that was a girl box you sent over there. Makeups, some, uh, and, like, a men's uh, deodorant, men's lotion, and some clothes so a lot like like mostly <laughs> mostly like for men and a uh, woman and also some coffee uh creamer and oh yeah i remember that yeah and some i didn't oh uh, some uh chocolates a lot of chocolates <laughs> yeah <laughs> so one thing one thing that you won't realize going to the philippines she told me they had this stuff but i'm telling you when i got there they did not have this stuff anywhere. I couldn't find, and, and at that time I was eating sweets, so I've stopped eating now. But at that time, it was like 
Man, where's the Oreo? There was no Oreos, no Snickers, no. I tweet. think we did see some in Manila, Manila right? Yeah. Yeah, but once you get out of Manila, out of the city, you can't find you can't find this stuff. So in Bell's Province, coming home with a bag of these, 135 pieces, they're gonna love you for sure, right? Yeah. And <laughs> and also when I went home, like I said, like last time, we had packed like a lot of old chocolates for the kids. And I have giveaway, you know, for the kids. And so this is how much the the uh, space. And aside from that, uh, you you see all the spaces like they had in here. You can also put the like stick some of uh, some of the like uh, lipstick in there, system? nail polish, yeah, okay. lipstick on it, and then just pile it. So that's how you do that. Wow. And then we have here some oh, I see some bouquet. So. This is the book set that I got for sale for a dollar. So Ooh. I just just oh, bought it. Those, you got those at Walmart? Yeah, this is from Walmart. So I got this like a dollar and I have like nephews and nieces so they can use this to go to school. So just file it like that. And so I got four right now but I got more. So this is what I do with it, like to space it up. But really don't really take that much. Yeah, so those are kind of flat. Yeah, flat in it. And then, again, <laughs> what I do, put some soap to, like, flatten it more. Ooh. Now, I didn't see all of the lace soap in the Philippines. I don't think I did. Yeah. At least not. In, I know I didn't see it in the progress. Maybe they got it in uh in Manila. In Manila. The thing about shopping in Manila it's is it's higher. a touristy place and that stuff is higher than if you bought it in the US. Which is crazy. Yeah. They uh, are much like higher price in Manila than uh you buy it. And uh, also we all uh, over here we use we use coupon and they don't have coupon over there. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. So you can't be a coupon in the Philippines. Yeah. So now we we'll move on like we go as like we got soap in there. We gonna move on to body wash and we put bar soap. Now we do body wash. So this is kind of like a pack, unpack, and pack again. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you pack everything down, and then you told me um, when you do the last packing. You actually write down everything, every, yeah. every piece that you write, like on a piece of paper. Yeah, and that's what we needed to put it on here. How much uh, shampoo that we have, how much conditioner, how much body wash, how you know, how much everything of it. Exactly the same thing that we have on our box because that's the one thing. Uh, like you know, when it get to costume, somebody like or some yeah, they places, need to see what's go, in the box. Yeah. So if somebody takes something, you know exactly what they took. So you see this this body wash that I got over here. Since they are too small, you just have to lay it aside and put one more on the side to fit it. Yeah. That so. All about packing. This one gotta go this way, this way, and one more. And then one more on the side of this other one. So, so as long as you don't bust the box, you got, and that's why she um, tapes the box yeah. really good at the bottom. And then she tapes up the sides and everything before everything. it ships. Yeah, as you can see with this one, I had taped every yeah. single thing. So after we did the, the shampoo and the stuff, we're going to put, maybe later, like, you know, after this, we're going to put this in the, in the middle. And for now, we're going to put more of the, you know, the lotion. Yeah, lotion. Mm. So they need lotion even though it's gonna be sticky. <laughs> so you still like get lotion in there. And so also one good thing is they can if they don't want a, the lotion or don't like that particular yeah. lotion, then they can like give it give it away to their friends or they can sell it to their neighbors, their neighbors. and stuff like that. Yeah. So And I also like as uh as I say, like I give my family if like if they had that much, they had a lot, they give it away to, you know, the people that less fortunate and stuff. It's because that's what I told them. If we y'all had too much, y'all y'all can give it away to the people. Wow. 
Yeah. It's it's stacked nice and neat though. So when they get it out the box, they'll be like, Oh my gosh. They should love it. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Two Paces. Come on with the two paces. So and also you have to check for like the the which one that goes together. Oh yeah. So they can stack better. Yeah. The sizes goes long, so <laughs> There's like a lot of toothpaste in here. So the good thing about sending this stuff is um, somebody might say like, well, you can't give away all of your stuff, but um, I think we don't really use that much of this stuff yeah. as opposed to how many times you actually can go to the Philippines, especially right now, you can't really go out there. Um, so this is a way for us to actually bring a year's worth of stuff out there or send a year's worth of stuff out there in just one shot. And Bells can continue couponing out here. Yep. And it's also like it's much uh, easier for me now to move some stuff plus uh, like we already taking some off and sending it away. Like, and they can just give it away. They, yeah. they have, you know. And I got a lot of family in the Philippines, guys. <laughs> I am, uh, our family is huge. They're going to love you. <laughs> Just like the last one. But the last one, how many boxes we sent? Two boxes the last time or was one, one box? One box only. Cause, uh, I think we were just checking to see how long it would take. And it took so long to get it there. Yeah, that, that first box was take. It takes about... Two months when it got there so i was like i don't know so no we're going to just try again with a different company this time so as you can see this one stacked up good and they got like one more space over there so we can fill up with some of the pad you know, things okay just just put it on the side yeah, those can squeeze in really good like i need to change this one because it got bigger a short. yeah another shorter one this one. This one is big. So you can put this in there. And then just squeeze these two pads on the side. Like that. <laughs> then we can take this one, put it back. Now this is way different than the way we had been sending by using the boxes. Because before, the only way we could... <laughs> Alright, so, so this is a little bit different than the way we had been since we discovered actually sending the boxes from one of your friends you found out about sending boxes or what how did you yeah. find out about we had uh my friend uh told me i said like girl you know that you had all the stuff and you can just send it like some to your family like i said how and uh she said like uh the company you had just had to look at the company that goes to your uh which one is getting the like the boxes by y'all and then she said, this is the company that goes with y'all, so try to send it with them. So, she, and then my other friend, she said she's been sending with them for a few years now. So, cool, cool. I told her, I said, way, let me try. Way different than the way we have been doing it. The only way we was doing it before was whenever Bells went home, Yeah. we would use, you get to have two... 50 pound boxes per passenger, right? Yeah, per passenger. So that's what we was doing. We was getting boxes from like Home Depot, Walmart, mm -hmm. and we would fill up with each person that was going, we would fill up 50 pounds. So each person got 100 pounds of yes. stuff to be able to go with them on the international flight. And it's free. So it comes yeah. with your international flight. So that's what we was doing um, for the last couple of years. Yeah. But I think this is way better because you can just, carry. yeah, don't have to carry all that stuff to the airport. And then we had to get it off the plane. Yes. Once we got in the Philippines, that was the hard part. That was the hard part for me, especially <laughs> for me because when I went home, I had like all them three kids yeah. with me. So her, like, did your dad meet you at the last time? I had a baby. I had Zachariah with me, our Fiona and Zion. Mm -hmm. And then your daddy met you at that port that yeah, time? Yeah, he met or, me or, with or, uh, uh, Arlene and my sister, my two brothers, and my daddy and my cousin came. They uh, all came to meet me at the airport because I said, now, nah, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot do all of this. And they had came, and then I just had to pay somebody at the 
the effort to carry it all the way by the by the pickup like by the like where the the passengers or people is going to be picked up by their family mm -hmm. so so i put the oh i'm saying saving this one so this one is a girl or so that one goes with that and then i have like a few makeups oh. again i said the makeups again so this one goes with so it's been the whole year of well you even got more than that i'm sure it's, uh, but um, this is a good bit of them yeah just look what you got chapsticks. chapsticks and oh i have been i haven't been keep really couponing so that's why like like all last see. year really yeah. didn't do no couponing and then where's the other one i guess one uh -oh. and so just piling this this stuff and oh uh, all this makeup that goes and my sisters love makeup <laughs> <laughs> so for the most part a lot of the stuff that we have we can send probably besides like the tissue and stuff yeah and uh like the tie pots yeah i probably can try to put some tie pots over here like just wrap it too yeah. can you use that out there you can just put that in the uh, washing machine eh? I'm not oh, sure. I don't know. So they need some. She needs some. Uh, like makeup remover. Makeup remover too. We can do that. That's a lot of stuff up in that box. We're gonna get rid of. We're gonna. I think we're gonna get rid of a lot of this stuff. Besides the like the, the detergent and stuff. Yeah. You think we're gonna be able to pack a lot of this stuff? Like Arlen, what? I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I just, uh, I'm just playing. So, I'm giving this to her too. This is for you too. You can have it. <laughs> Guys, this is all like foundations. Let me see that. Let me see one of those. Alme. Alme foundation. Oh. I remember when I went to the Philippines. I packed. I packed shirts. Long sleeve shirts. Yeah. I'm thinking that it's gonna be cold at night, close to the water. I packed jeans. <laughs> My crazy behind. I probably packed so like three, four pairs of jeans. And I got out there that one day wearing those jeans and I was like, okay. I had to I can't do this. <laughs> I can't wear no clothes. You almost gotta walk around halfway undressed like, yeah, outside. Like, there. Yeah. That's one like little t shirt. And short, that's it. That's just like the rest of them people that walking around without, like, it just, oh, uh, like, shorts on. They don't have no shirt walking around because it's really hot. Yeah. Steamy hot. So, out there, you'll see everybody during the summertime, they'll have on flip flops, short shorts, and maybe a little t shirt or something. But that's it. People really don't, not for the most part, the mass of people don't really dress up. Like too much during the summertime for sure. <laughs> oh, all of this polish and stuff. So I don't like this one. This pack because this one is the pants. Yep. Oh, y'all gonna love me forever. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Yeah, love you forever. I they can't. When they see this video, this video is going to come out before they get it. So when they see this video, they're going to be like, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Can't yeah, wait. no. <laughs> because my niece uh, always like, you know, watch my uh, my YouTube channel every time that even we are live or mm -hmm. we doing a video. She will like call me. I'm watching right now. Mm -hmm. Tita, I'm watching right now, Tita. Like, okay. She will just always call me or text me whenever. So, almost done. Yeah. And we are going to go out before we send um, the last, like, like top off the boxes. There are some stuff that we probably don't have time to try to wait on to go on sale. Yeah. Uh, some things that her dad wants or her brothers want. And we'll just go to the store and buy those things and send them. Uh oh. About my. Daddy's on pants. 
So, like just that's so you can ride on his moto. Yeah, moto, and then oh, riding the motorcycle every every day, and it's hot. Like even though it's hot, like you need to cover up your leg because gonna burn with like you know gonna have sunburn. So I bought this for him. Uh, I always buy like the coffee that gonna be expiring like about next year or later than this year. So I always put some of that. And I should have put the other, like, that thing in the middle so it so don't be messy. You can always redo it when you redo it anyway. Like this. See? Take space. Yay! Alright, and we're back for the last day of packing. So, yeah. So, guys, I don't remember if I showed you all how to uh, wrap the, the backs and put the, like, the Duct tape, tape, duct tape. What a gorilla tape. Uh, you need to put the gorilla tape or the, the duct tape first before you put the clear tape because you don't want uh, the clear tape will uh, help not to get the the duct tape go get stick to the other box because if you just go hold like like use the clear the duct tape it will hold up like it's going to stick to the rest of the the box. So so. The clear tape is to stop the gray tape from sticking to the other boxes. Yep. Um, and actually, since this is going to be the way, um, scissors. This is going to be the way your box is sitting. This is going to need to be the most reinforced part of your box. Yeah. Which is why you see the one down there. The boxes, the bottoms of them are what we put most of the tape on. Um, but she will actually, when everything is getting ready yes, to really yes. be shipped, she will do the top and the bottoms with a little tape. Yes, and also I rub them with the plastic rub. I also rub them with, after I, uh, like, after I finish, like, rubbing them with a the duct tape and, uh, like, the clear tape, I also rub this around, surround the box to ensure that the, uh, the box or whatever that's inside my, uh, my box, even though they throw it away, it's not going to leak out or it's not going to yeah. So, in case something yes, busts bust, inside, yeah. it'll still, that, that extra layer on the outside is what's going to help. Um, Hold the box it, together. Yeah, and it's on there. Um, yeah. And after she finishes that, then we'll come back and start packing. Yep. All right, I'm done putting the clear tape. Now we're going to turn it around. And we're going to start putting stuff in there. packing all these three these three packages will off to the Philippines there you go so we'll see y'all on the next video and hopefully hopefully they send us some pictures 
that they open all this yeah stuff, spread take this, this stuff spread this stuff out yeah. share it to their family and friends yeah. hope y'all enjoy bev's two years of work but well, really not we're well, really one year because last year, year she didn't get a chance to do anything with the pandemic stuff so hopefully Bev's work reaches you all because we cannot use all of this stuff and we'd like to see y'all use it right? right Bev's would like to see y'all use it more than anything so she can feel so like a big sister <laughs> hey well, I want the bread for everybody though. Yeah, here she go. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, I thank you all for joining me in, packing all these goodies for my family, for my uh, neighbors, some of my neighbors. And hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time. And always, always remember, guys, to spread love, no hate. Mm -hmm. See y'all again next time. <laughs> yeah. Boom.